teachers in one classroom. One of them is a geometry teacher, the other person is a construction teacher. Uh, and we teach geometry one day, and then the very next day the kids are out in the field using the geometry they learned in order to build a building. What's great about this to me is that the kids actually get a direct correlation between what's going on in the classroom and what they would be doing in the real world. Does four go into both of these? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because it goes into 76, so it goes into the whole thing. So this becomes 11 on the bottom. That's 44 over 11 or 4. See how nice fractions can be? Armando, you got it? Okay. What's that? Ah, that one I'm going to get to. How are you doing on this? There's two things that we have to know how to do. And one is how to cut. And two, how to cut accurately. You guys are working in temporary groups right now. Pretty soon I'm going to be getting you guys something called an elbow partner. Stop. Now you're good. Two and five sixteenths. So you're a little less than two and a quarter. So probably you cut the wrong side of the line. Remember that you're going to have a mid side and a waist side. And this will be your good side. This is your waist. And you want the blade on that side. So you cut a little short, you cut a little bit out of square. So 